To God be the glory. It is time for Bible study. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, recover your sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, and to preach the acceptable year of God's favor. Hallelujah. The word of God is true. And he said, whoever is joined to the Lord is one spirit. So therefore, I welcome you in for Bible study. Yay, God is good. And uh, we're going to pray and get right in the word of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I welcome you. And Father, I ask that you speak through me right now, dear God. I thank you for bringing scriptures to my memory. Let your anointing have your way. In Jesus' name, I bless you, dear God. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the Lord God Almighty, and besides you, there is no other. You manifest your love as the only begotten Son of the Father, Jesus Christ, and we beheld your glory. You died on the cross, and on the third day, you were raised from the dead. I praise you, Jesus. You are Lord Yahweh. You are God Almighty. You are everlasting Father. And we come before you in the name that you told us to worship you in. And the only name whereby man can be saved. And that is the name of Jesus. And all that you are is in that name. And the name of Jesus. So I thank you, Father. Your word is true. A son is born. A son is given. And he shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, in Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God. The, the topic is healing. Glory to God, because the word of God is true. And um, you just need to know that it is God's will for you to be healed and whole. Because Jesus went through all of that to make sure that we are walking in his victory. And he gave us the victory through his suffering because Jesus became a curse for us. He bore the curse on the cross for us. Though he was rich, he, though he was rich, he became poor for us. And he did that so that we might be made rich. He bore the curse of sickness and disease for us. He was wounded for our transgressions, and he was bruised for our iniquities, and the chastening of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. He did that for us. Glory to God. So we praise Jesus. He gave his body for us, and when we have communion, we recognize and we appreciate the body, the body of our Lord, our God, who manifests in the flesh. We partake of his word which is his body, in remembrance of that. His blood was shed to cleanse us from all sin. He redeemed us from the curse of the law, and he purchased us with his precious blood. So glory to God. You have to know who you are in Christ. You have to know that there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ. And glory be to our Father, because he has done this all for us through Jesus Christ. God be the glory. He was raised from the dead by the power of the Holy Spirit, the resurrection power of God, raised him from the dead. So therefore, we come to him in the name of Jesus, and we worship, and we worship him, we adore him, and we have everything we need through Christ Jesus. Glory to God. So, we're going to go over healing scriptures. And I pray that you will be encouraged because you just need to know that it is God's will for you to walk in divine healing. First scripture, Exodus 23, verse 25. And the word of God is, and you shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. Remember when the word of God, when Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. So when we come before God and we're reading his word, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God and the word was God. We're partaking of his body when we're reading his word. Glory to God. 
And the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all of our sins. So we come boldly to the throne through the precious blood of Christ. Glory to God. Next scripture is Psalms 30 verse 2. God says in his word, he cried out and he healed me as a David the psalmist said. Oh Lord my God, I cried unto thee and thou hast healed me. So I can remember crying out to the Lord my God. I cried out to him and he healed me. Actually, he revealed to me that he had already healed me through Jesus Christ and by the stripes of Jesus on his back. Glory to God. It's been about 16 years, about 16 years ago. And uh, I remember going to the doctor and uh, I was given a, a report that, thank God, now I know that when I was given that report, it worked together for good. But when I was given that report, I thought the sky had opened up and fell on me because um, I just remember it was just, it was like numb, like what? I was given a report that I had cancer. And during that time, I didn't really, I had a religious relationship with God. I'm just going to be honest with you. I went to church. I, I was baptized. I read my Bible. But I didn't have that Holy Ghost fire. I didn't have the baptism of the Holy Ghost at that time. But I remember having peace during that time. I remember having this a peaceful feeling even during the midst of it. I felt a calmness. But nevertheless, I'm going to go quickly with this because I want to get to the scriptures. But going through that time, I remember I, I cried out to God. And just like the scripture says, I cried out to him and he heard my cry. I sit here today healed from cancer. It's been over 16 years. But I know that I was healed on the cross because that's where he paid for it at. Jesus paid for my healing on that cross. He was wounded for my transgressions, bruised for my iniquities, and the chastening of my peace was upon him. And with his stripes, I am healed. But I just want to encourage you. He answers you. You cry out, he answers to you. And he reveals his word. And that's what he did. He took me by the hand and revealed to me the goodness of my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ. So glory to God. I want to take you to another scripture, Psalms 91. And Psalms 91, verse number 10, God gives you a promise that there shall no evil befall you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. So those who are, you're walking in divine health, Already, you received that Jesus Christ is your Lord and your Savior, and you know about that. He was wounded for your transgressions and bruised for your iniquities, and the chastening of your peace was upon him. And with his stripes, you're healed. You can hold on to this scripture to keep your healing because God gave you a promise no matter what the statistics say, whether no matter what the news say, in terms of even when you're watching television, some of these. Some of these commercials are just giving, they'll, they'll talk about the medication and then they'll give you all these side effects that go along with the medication. I'm not saying you can't take your medication. I'm just saying listening to that in your ears and that tries to get in your spirit, you need to know that no evil shall befall me. Neither shall any plague or calamity come near my dwelling. So when you're listening you can say, mm, let that word come up and protect you. That's protection because God's word is protection and it's healing. So I tell you right now, you're walking to divine healing and health. There shall no evil befall you, neither shall any plague or calamity come near your dwelling. In Jesus' name, glory to God. Hallelujah. Psalms 107.20 says, God, he sent his word and he healed them. And delivered them from their destructions. So when you read the word of God. God's word is healing. But also Jesus Christ. God manifesting in the flesh. Is the word of God. 
He sent his word and healed us. 